Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. It is Gridbot Guru here, and I'm going to show you what it looks like whenever you set up a trading bot and what it actually does to the charts. All right, so um, stick around. Let's have some fun. So I'm not going to trade a whole lot right now because I don't feel like there is a whole lot. Like I don't, I don't like the entry point. However, I am going to go ahead and show you what it looks like. So this is a pair called MBTC, and it is, I believe, it's pegged to Bitcoin, um, one or a thousand to one, I think. So a thousand Bitcoin. Let me think about this. A thousand Bitcoin. No, a thousand to one. A thousand MBTC equals one Bitcoin. So right now, BTC is trading at fifty-seven fifty-seven. Fifty-seven fifty-seven or fifty fifty-seven sixty somewhere around there. This is trading at fifty-seven dollars and sixty-three cents. So you can use a whole lot less. On this uh, for this grid then you can another grid so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it up just with your typical um, AI settings those are gonna be the ones that you end up using to at the very beginning probably um, so I'm gonna click create and what I'm gonna do from there is it says use AI strategy that's a great strategy to use um, but you don't, it's not something you necessarily need to use it, okay? But I'm going to go ahead and start off with that. So what you're going to see, let me adjust it real quick. So right now, the bottom price is 43. The top price is 67, okay? I have 79 grids, and I can go as low as... $14.72 USDT. So let's see if we can't. There we go. So I'm at 16, 1620. So that is the minimum that you would need to actually start this bot. So what it looks like is you start it, it tells you the price range here. So it's the range to the low range up to the upper range. This is going to be when you think a price is going to stay in a range and then go up. Um, there's lots of reports of Bitcoin going to, you know, 100,000, 200,000, you know, all these crazy numbers. Um, but there's also reports of it going back down to 30, 42, those, those areas. So we know that it's, well, we don't know because nothing with crypto is official, but we think it's going to be around this range. So I will get about... 36 or 0.36 to 0.62 percent on each buy and sell round trip so what that means is when it buys and sells something i will get my my initial investment back of that one grid plus an additional 0.36 or 0.62 percent okay and i can do a rundown of that at another time too so what I'm going to do, <clears throat> I'm going to press continue. And it's going to create my bot. Now, what you're going to see is nothing is really on the five minute. But if we go out to the hour, you're going to see green and red lines. Okay, green and red lines. And if you don't see them, there's a little eyeball right here in the center. You can click that. And it will show you where you're at. So let me blow this up. Let me see if I can get this. All right. Let me adjust it just a little. I'll get it a little bit bigger for you all. So what you end up having here, and let me see if I can't get 15 minutes. Maybe you guys can see it. Perfect. Okay. What you guys have here is, I'm going to even get it a little bit bigger so you can really see the, the details. So there is a sell, or this is the, this is the actual price. So fifty-seven seven oh seven. That's the price. That's the current market price. So this green. 
So 57.30 is a buy. That is a buy. This green, 56, no, 50, 56.98 is another buy. 56.991, that's another buy. This up here, 57, 9, 9, or 922 is a sell. So what you have is, <clears throat> excuse me, you have this price, this market price. It is either going to hit this green line or it's going to hit this red line next. When it does, it is either going to buy or sell. So let me show you what it looks like. So we're going to start right here. So if we started the bot right here, when the price was 59.395, you would had a green, no, sorry, a red line at 59.473, oh, and you would had a green line at 59.158. And you see this big candle. So this big candle comes by, by, Buy, 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 and then it's going to stop. Bounces up a little bit, so it sold a couple, and then it's going to drop that back down. Buy, 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 buy. So it had bought this candle at 56.991. But here's the thing. When it buys it, it automatically flips it to a sell. So what ends up happening is, remember those percentages I was telling you about? That's where these percentages come in. So it automatically will flip it to a sell. And I really wish, let me see what the one minute looks like. The one minute won't end up showing you very well. I'll try, maybe I'll try to find a bot at some point and show you what it really looks like. If we were to let this go, so right here, up here, this is a one minute. So at 57.92, it's going to go down. 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 It's probably hitting, honestly, it's probably going to hit a buy somewhere around this area, which is where the sell comes in. So it's going to go down, it's going to go down, boom. It just touches that 57,301, which me, and you know, I kind of have this term, it's called just wicking it. I'm not worried about if the price stays there. If it wicks it, it's going to grab that price. So that buy or that sell. So it just wicked that, that buy right there. So this turned to a sell. Now that sell will probably be somewhere around there. So there should have probably been a red line somewhere around there. So when it hits this buy, this buy goes away and this sell appears. And what happens is it comes up, 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 and it hits, it hits that sell, which makes it disappear and it turns into the buy again. All right, so if you have something, say you have something really super tight, let me see if I can make possibly another one um so let's see if i can't let's see if i can't make one i'm gonna set it myself and this isn't do not do this this is going to be super super tight so we'll do 57 point three and we'll do eight, and we'll do ten grits. And I'll do five dollars. Let me see what this one looks like. All right, so let me go and um, click 
close that one. Go back to tray. All right, so here we go. This is what I was really wanting to show you all. Again, we're on a one minute, and again, don't do this. So you're gonna see that this there's a red line right here. Now watch when this hits that red line. You're gonna see it automatically flip to a green. All it needs to do is just, just tap it, just touch it. We're gonna wait for a little bit. So that's the beauty about these though, is you are literally going to, as long as you are in a range, you are literally just going to be sitting there making these little bitty micro transactions, which pennies add up to dollars. Dollars add up to, you know, hundreds of dollars. So really the, the key is you stay in a range and you have patience. That's the key. And that can be another video you guys probably saw and noticed that I had some red, red bots going. Um, yeah, yeah, I do. I got some red bots and, and I'm all right with that. So I know some people are like, oh, you got to have a stop loss. Um, I usually don't set one. Um, I'm usually pretty happy with where I'm at. Um, and I, I know that it will, hopefully, it will bounce back. And if it doesn't, then I'm going to be holding the bag for a little bit. I know it's, it's time consuming and it's tedious just to watch this, but I think if I see right there, boom. So the market sell or the limit sell, it went through, flipped to an automatic green buy at 57611 and it's ready to buy again so that means all these times that it maybe it wicked up and then it dropped back down and came and did it again so any like m moves or any w moves you're going to be getting those those transactions okay that's the beauty about it all right all right guys so again thank you for watching um you know i Oh, looks like I bet we got another one. Yep, boom, right there. So I've just made two transactions and I've just been sitting here. So let's check, let's see what it looks like. So right now I am 0.06% in the profit, okay? Again, I didn't like that bot. I am going to go ahead and stop it because I, <laughs> I am in profit and I feel lucky to be in profit on that one. Um, so again, guys, if this has helped you out, um, you know, here's my red ones. So I know that bat, my bat will continue. We'll get to leverage tokens. Those are a little bit different. Um, I know bat's probably going to end up coming back around. Hopefully. I hope it does. Um, and I know that theta will probably drop. That's where the S comes in I'm hoping it will probably drop um, we'll see again um, one of those things but again guys if this has helped you out I hope it has I hope you guys do well um, I want you guys to if we would have kept that bot going real quick it probably would have had another buy around here maybe a buy down here <clears throat> looks like it might snatch one up down here and then keep going um, just by some of the price action. It looks looks like it's going to continue heading up, but we don't really 100% know. So again, guys, thanks for watching. I'm hoping that um, this is getting something out of it. I would appreciate it if you subscribe. You know, I'm going to try to keep doing videos um, again, um, specifically for Pinex, but there are, there are other other ways around this too and there are a ton of other different bots okay there's some advanced ones there's some actual smart trades um there are other bots where uh, dca and a uh, twap so we will get into those spot futures um we'll get into those as well so if this has helped you out subscribe 
stay tuned for the next uh, adventure. And I hope this has helped you out. All right, y'all. Happy trading. Stay green.